In this video, we're going to show you how to manage your uh, Survey to Go account. We're going to see how to change the uh, account information, uh, view usage reports, and finally, how to free up storage space, which could prove very useful to save up on costs. We're going to start with uh, changing your account information. In order to uh, change the account information, you log on to the Survey to Go Studio and right click on the main organization uh, node. From the menu, you choose the organization properties, and then the organization properties window opens up, and you can change your uh, first name, middle name, email, phone number, contact details, and uh, any other contact info that you'd like to add. Now this is pretty useful because every uh, information that you add to the billing contact email and management contact email and the technical contact email would be used to contact you in case of problems. So we strongly advise you to fill them out. We will now uh, view the actual user usage reports. And to view the usage reports you expand the My Survey to Go account node and under here we've got a couple of reports. I'm going to quickly scan through them. The first node is uh, not a report but rather a way for you to purchase interviews. That's the same as going online and clicking the pricing uh, link. Double click on here, we'll open our um, website and you can purchase interviews. The first report that we're going to see is the ongoing usage report and let's select uh, a from date which is earlier than now and the to date is today and I'm going to click on get account usage. Now the first thing that you can notice is on the top you have the current balance of 10,000 interviews. This is very useful in order to understand what your current balance is and you can see that during the, the date range that I've selected, I've used the following uh, interviews. For each interview that I've used, I can see exactly who did it. It was for Jim and for the survey, Smoker Survey, and what the balance was after this interview was uploaded. Now you won't always see one here. It depends on whether the, uh, the Android or PC uh, application accumulated more than one interviews before they synced. So you can see 1 or 20 or 15 here and it will be perfectly fine. Moving on, we're going to see the monthly usage report. So for June, let's pull up the monthly usage report for May. So for May you can see that I've actually used um, eight interviews for the smoker survey uh, that's under the demo project and a demo customer and if I choose previous date I see that there are no interviews performed on that date so let's go back to our May statement and I have the option to actually click here and show the detailed report and I can then see exactly which interview caused the actual eight interviews to show up. You can choose to print this report by clicking on the print or export it to HTML or Excel for further analysis. The next, next report is the result attachments report and this shows you how much storage you have used between a certain date range. So if I want to see how much storage I've consumed since February um, until June, I'll click on show. I can see that in June I've consumed 8.37k, in May 391k, and in March, for example, two megabytes. And it was for 20 attachments. I can group it by month or I can group it by month and survey and actually see exactly the breakdown of which survey caused how many uh, megabytes or kilobytes to be consumed. 
can export these details to Excel. And I can use this report to free up space and we'll see that in just a second. Last report is the storage usage report. And this gives you a pretty clear overview of how much capacity you have on your account. So we have a storage space of 200 megabytes on my account. And currently from those, 23.8 megabytes are in use. And 176.2 megabytes are still free. And I can upload a maximum file size for four of uh, 3 megabytes. Now this limitation of 3 megabytes is per specific attachment. So you can have an interview with 10 attachments, each of which can be 3 megabytes or up to 3 megabytes. Usually photo attachments tend to be around 150 or 160k. So that's plenty. And if you need more, you can contact us and we can uh, help you out. If you want to upgrade your storage space, you click here and it brings you to the actual uh, payments site that you can purchase additional storage if you need to. And this concludes the available reports. So finally, we want to uh, understand how we can free up our storage space. So first, it's important to understand that storage space is taken up or consumed not by interview data, but rather by attachments. So if you capture photos or sounds or videos from the field, um, these will take up the storage space. Simple data, the actual interview data, is not counted towards the storage space. It's only attachments that you add to a survey and attachments that you capture in the field that take up the storage space. So you can have a 50, in, a 50 question survey and if you don't capture any photos or record any sounds or videos, uh, you won't need any storage space. If you do use attachments and uh, your storage space starts to run out, you'll receive an email from our system. And then you have two options. Option number one is free up the space so you could actually um, reuse that storage space or option two is upgrade your storage space uh, um, account. If you want to upgrade you simply uh, log on to our site and uh, click on the storage link and that will allow you to uh, purchase more storage space or you can contact us at uh, support at dubla.net. If you wish to free up your uh, storage space you simply turn to the result attachments usage report We've already pulled up uh, our usage reports from February till June. You can select a row. Let's uh, break it down, not by survey, but by month. Click on show. So now if I want to free up my February uh, attachments, I can select February and then click on archive attachments Put in my local path, let's say it's uh, c.attachments archive, select my February uh, date, and then click on archive data and start. What this will do is simply download all the attachments to your local computer and remove them off of the survey to go cloud. This will free up the storage, but take into account that this will permanently delete these attachments from the cloud and your account. So think it, think carefully before removing uh, attachments that you still are using on the survey to go system.